hi everyone so today i'm going to be going through violet floss's uh, collection of what they at least currently have on sephora that i can get my hands on um so i'm going to kind of go just through all their different palettes and then i definitely think this is a brand to try out and then i'm just kind of saying like try this brand out here's your options pick which one you kind of like you don't have to be crazy and buy them all like myself um but i just think like oh like it's so good like i just want to sleep with this and just be like i love you just give it a little hug <laughs> and i am someone who's crazy and i hug my closet clothes and things like that so i'm just a little weird um and that so the first palette that i'm going to look at is the rainbow palette so definitely some beautiful bright colors um so looking through at that first one i have flamingo peach buttercup sea foam fiji royal indigo violet pearl and eclipse and just like look how black that is uh, it does have some kind of silver really micro glitter in it but like that is beautiful <laughs> like that's kind of what I wish um, the Huda Beauty palette was like that, just like bam black. Um, sometimes I don't necessarily mind it being a little bit not so in your face, just like absorbing all the light and everything like a black hole black. Um, but like when someone has that, you're just like, <sighs> like you just have to appreciate that. So the next palette that I'm going to look at is the Flamingo palette. So going through the shades there, um, top to bottom, uh, I have Flamingo, Donut, Flip Flop, Bikini, Oceanfront, Tidal Wave, Beach Ball, Watermelon, Lemonade, Pineapple, Popsicle, as well as sunbathe. So these two kind of look similar on camera, but the bottom one's a little bit lighter. Uh, then I have surf, which is kind of this like bluish shade with a gold overlay. Um, then there's coral, island, sand. Um, from there, there's seashell, pinwheel, sandals, and sunny. Uh, so seashell is a little bit like a glittery one, but it's not that bad like on your eyes and I have like worn it and liked it uh, as well as kind of like the Glamingo, like here's their blush. Obviously you can kind of like you just need a little, so I definitely went in with my finger, uh, but just kind of like blending things out. Uh, the highlighter is a little bit hard to sh see because it's my perfect skin tone. Then we have kind of that like bronzy highlighter, uh, uh, bronzer, and then another like probably a little too dark for me, but both beautiful. Like I really love these and I have been getting like quite a good use out of them. And they're the two main ones that I've been using throughout the summer. So next we have HG. Um, it's definitely a brown, like your lighter browns going into some of those redder colors. Uh, so definitely some lighter shades in there. Um, so going this way down, uh, there's crystal. Oof. Thanks a latte. Transition. Hashtag awesome sauce besties. <laughs> besties is like blending into my skin. Uh, toffee, chili, how you doing? Uh, bat my eyes, cool beans, you're kidding me. Uh, so jelly is that kind of pink shade. So, so kidney is definitely a good transition shade in there on fleek <laughs> brownie points teddy bear glamping cranberry splash 
and then wine and dine. So definitely wine and dine in, on camera isn't as like nice as it is um, in person, I feel. Uh, so definitely maybe a little bit more neutrals with some of those like bands of colors. So I did find on this one, uh, like the mattes were nice. The metallics were like nice and buttery. Um, so yay, it's still my Violet Foss quality. So that's always good. So next I have Taupe Notch. Uh, so I really do love makeup puns and like they do a great job. I don't think they're as great as some of the nail polish companies like Hands Down hands down uh, nail polish companies win it on the puns and it's kind of like almost like damn puns but for makeup <laughs> and stuff like that um so looking at this palette it is definitely um your kind of cool tone browns and then going through the swatches like oh, like it just it just makes me so happy <laughs> and stuff like that like in my arm trying to make sure I don't get these swatches all over my face um so there are kind of some of those repeats so going through my swatches so my first row this is Ellie number one bestest super top notch then we go to one and only upper crust Royal exclusive first class going through high uh, taupe numero uno MVP ace. We have extra world class VIP supreme and prime. It's definitely kind of like those nice, uh, cool tone browns. So I think this one's kind of a little bit different than some of those other ones out there. I guess like you have your cool tone brown one from Huda Beauty if we're looking at kind of more of those high-end ones. Uh, some of those colors are the same. And this one's a little bit different because it doesn't have a black in it. So I do find like most of them will have like a uh, white or kind of cream color as well as black color. But this one has no black so it's a little bit different. <laughs> So my next palette is Mad About You, and hopefully we can tell that this is all mattes. So yay! Um, going through, I did about time swatching this time, right? Um, <laughs> I did a little staircase, I just feel I need to contort my arm. I don't know how I did this, right? It's like, it should, like struggle is real in life. Um, so some of these are very similar to my skin tone. So we'll just kind of come up a little. So the first one from going this way and down, there's Sweetheart Infatuation, Sweet Talk, Mesmerized, Me Amore, Mad Love, right, which is kind of hard to see there, uh, Crush, Smitten, Heavenly, and Tender, then going through the other side, uh, Beloved, Adorbs, if I'm saying that right, Yearning, Desire, Passion, um, Crazy Love, Romantic, Thirsty, Daring, and Sweet. So I like how it's like matte about you. So it's that like, oh, I'm so in love with you. And then the names are all kind of like different ways for like being in love or things like that. So like, I appreciate like some of that thought that they put into things. And I really do like this palette. So next I swatched uh, Violet Foss uh, first like X Nicole Concilio. So hopefully I'm saying your last name correctly. Um, so this one just kind of like uh, your orangey gold with like this nice little pop of color there. Um, 
so like my swatching job is kind of getting worse. Okay, it's a step up from before, but like I don't know how to line things up. Like, ah, uh, honestly. So, uh, the first one's kind of this white shade with like a little bit of blue in it, but you can't really see on camera. Susu, bra, pizza, Mars. And Mars looks very different from like what's in the palette from how it swatches. Um, Daisy, Hangry, Lou, 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 Blue. Yeah. Sorry. So I think it's blue. Uh, hey Girl, Chocolate. Um, then we have Glorious, Nicole. Uh, Sagittarius, Gigi, Palm Tree, L.A., Victoria, Boop Pop, Boop Pop, uh, Pingy, and Retrograde. It's definitely like, look at that blue on camera. They're like, huh. Like, on camera, it's a little bit more like cobalt. Uh, like, in person, it is a little bit more navy, I think. But definitely like nice shades and things like that. I have like a boss. Um, and like it's pretty. We start to get some of those green colors, right? They kind of uh, always will have brown colors uh, and things like that. So I definitely think they think about some of like their colors, right? So they're not just going to... Like, they do have some palettes where it's, like, those bam bright colors, like their rainbow palette. But I really do think that, like, you can create multiple looks and you don't have to go in other uh, palettes, really. So it's not like, oh, yeah, like, this is great purples, but I want some, like, nice little browns, right? So you got some of these, like, deep, rich greens, which I haven't really seen in other ones. Uh, and me having, like, green eyes, like... It's one that I'm like, ooh, yay. Um, so going through my swatches, um, there's Hustle. So it's a little hard to see because Hustle's kind of my color. Uh, baddie, Queen, Boss, Strong, Fierce, Serve, Realness, Work, Snatched. Uh, again, uh, WCW is kind of like a hard one to kind of see those two on me. Um, Amaze Balls, Girl Crush, Adulting, Motivate, Swag, Extra, Smart AF. Um, and Smart AF kind of has like this taupe with like a greeny shade over it. And then there's Royal and like that is such like a pretty color it's a little like on camera when it's hitting that light like it's very peacocky um it is really like a dark rich green um but like it's a it's still like a nice color and then uh inspo and things like that so sometimes like Things make me feel old because like CWC and then inspo like what is that makes me feel not smart. So my next palette is hashtag um and this one I definitely kind of used more uh and stuff like that we can see uh they're kind of shimmery like that metallic foil are soft um but like even with a brush like these are really nice shades so going through those swatches i have flesh sauce savage g o a t goat uh lily truth lady boss no filter throwback lit and like these three here are just like, you put it on and you're like, oh, it's like metal on your eyes. 
or in this case just my arm. Um, there's fake goals, FOMO, and like I do have fear of missing out. Um, low key living, and then we kind of get to these purple shades, which are really nice. Uh, sunset, relevant, TBT, petty AF, and then life. And life has just such like this bam impact. But like, oh, I think I have to like just kind of put it on my lower lash line right now because it's just so pretty. there on my lower oh. so I have it on my lower lash line and I think like it just adds like a nice little pop of color right so I really do like this palette because it does have some of those different colors and it's so hard like I look at like these as like my babies and like trying to determine which one you love more like so last is the Ride or Die palette. Um, so this one is $90. Um, but like, look how many shades you get, right? So some people, like, if you kind of see, like, some are look kind of really similar. Um, but I do find with Violet Foss, like, some of them look really similar. But they're still different. And I think you can create, like, a really, like, nice look and things like that. And... Like, I'm not mad that they're similar, basically. So, going through my swatches, um, I have the first row here. So, these are all names. Uh, so, there's Michelle, April, Destiny, Ella, and Erica Leslie. Right? So, really, like, light shades. And some people will be like, how many light shades do you need? A lot. Uh, the next one is Fiona. So where this is like kind of like a matte white, this is more of like a shimmer to it. Alex, Kelly, Paula, Emma, Abigail, and Isabella. Then we have Jasmine, Ariel, Nicole, Jane, Allison, Caitlin. So we have Jasmine, Ariel, Nicole, Jane, Allison, Caitlin, and Holly, right? So some of them like look similar, but they're different and they kind of have their palette go from like similar colors onwards. If we kind of see like they kind of group their colors together. Um, from the next side, we have Jamie, Skylar, Monica, Jessica, Madeline, uh, Alice and Scarlet. Then we have Natalie that kind of has like a silvers in it. Uh, so this is kind of similar to the one in the rainbow palette, but I feel like the rainbow palette is more like bam in your face. And like, I think that one's a little bit better of the black with the shimmer. Maria, Josie, Nancy, Stephanie, Riley, and Andrea going in. My last row, I have Carly, Rachel, Courtney, Delilah, Ashley, Sarah. I wish this one was Sarah because I like it so much better. Amy. Um, but like, bam, here's my color. So um, this palette's $90, but it's, it's big and you get a lot. So I did kind of take this one traveling with me just because like you have so many. Uh, and it stood up to traveling, so that is always good to be, like, throwing on an airplane and stuff like that. Um, any of their 
20 pan palettes are $60. Um, as well as these two were $60. And then they're, oh God, I almost spilled them all. The rainbow palette is $30. So it is like cheaper. You're just getting 10 shadows, but like they're so big that like you can't really be mad at it. So I think like, yes, they are expensive, but you are getting like a really good bang for your buck, like 20 shadows, uh, $60. So you're looking about like three bucks a shadow. Like that's not bad. Like that's kind of like drugstore prices for like the quality on them. Ah. Um, I do think sometimes they will have some fallout, but it's very easy. It's not like fallout where you're like, oh, let me wipe, like wipe it away. Like you just kind of use your brush and sweep, but not all of them are that bad. I feel like you tap it off, right? Before you go in and blend. So kind of like that mad about you. Like if I go into kitten, cause that's what I have kind of on there. And I go in like I didn't tap off and I don't have any fallout. Um, so the matte ones are like pretty good um, and things like that. Sorry, I just feel like I need to darken that one up a little bit too. Um, so overall, like I really think Violet Foss is great. This is not like sponsored, obviously, like I don't have enough people. Uh, on my channel for anyone to sponsor me this is just my love for something and just to like tell people like try this out because it is good um do i think you need them all no because you're not a crazy person um and stuff like that but i definitely think like um to get one of their colorful palettes and then one of their depending on like what colors you like so if you do like those purple colors um go with your hashtag palette uh and things like that if you're looking for that like royal blue right maybe the nicole one uh if you're looking for like a nice matte palette you're mad about you so it's all about like what you're looking for and things like that but <laughs> I like Violet Foss. I think they're all good quality. Um, I have to kind of play around with some of my, like, my new ones. So my top, top notch and HG are ones that I have, like, I just kind of swatched. I haven't really used them on my eyes. Um, but if they're bad, I'll kind of put that in the comments below. Um, but in the comments, please let me know, like, have you ever tried Violet Foss? Uh, and like what one's your favorite palette or if you haven't which palette would be the one that you would go to and you think like ooh, that's kind of exciting and things like that thank you so much for watching guys I'm so swatched out um, but thanks again for watching I hope you have a great day bye